North America to meet single girls and guys? 216-578-1007 or 1-800-348-1007. All the sentiments you call it me. Back where it comes from. You see Drew Carey shows finally streaming? Where? This is huge news. For free. Where? On Plex. P-L-E-X. You ever heard of Plex? I've heard of Plex. It's one of those free apps like Tubi and Pluto. Well, Plex originally started as a thing that if you uh, you ever participated in like pirating... Uh, content or oh, it's like a yeah. BitTorrent site or well, something? Well, it wasn't a BitTorrent site, but what you, you could do is you could set up your own network in your house. And so I had a whole bunch of movies and series downloaded. And then you can have a Plex app on your different device, you know, Roku's or whatever. Yeah. And you could stream from your computer all those different uh, files that you have downloaded. Well, every episode is on Plex. Now the free apps, obviously, there's ads in there. If you watch Two B or anything like that, there's you got to see the commercials. But the Drew Carey Show has been uh, notoriously missing from streaming for a long time. Well, ever all nine seasons, two hundred thirty three episodes. I loved that show. I never watched it, um, uh, not religiously. I mean, I've seen a couple of episodes, but um, that Krista Miller boy, oh. I know she's had a lot of work done over the years, but I just, she she was in Seinfeld, and then she was on the Drew Carey show, and I just think she is so foxy. I mean, her husband, I think, is one of the producers. That's how she ends up showing up in things, but, man, so cute on that show. Whatever happened to, um, whatever happened to the actress that got, a, the, who was the lady in the clown makeup? Mimi. 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 Whatever happened to her? Uh, I she, saw, she did, I think she still does. She does uh, improv in tours with the... Uh, what what do they call that show? Who's line? Who's line? Who's is li- it anyway? Oh, she does. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because the other and dude was I, on there not too. Not as yeah? Who's Line, but like those performers from Who's Line, and she was on several episodes of that, like a lot. Yeah. So. Ryan Styles. Ryan Styles was on Styles Drew Carey. Colin Mockery. Yeah. But Craig Ferguson was on Drew Carey yes, too. Yes, he was. Yeah. He yeah. was the boss. boss. Mm-hmm. Nigel Wick. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, if you're a fan of the Drew Carey Show, and I know who I'm talking to. That is on the Plex app. It was on from 1995-2004. Boy, I did not know it was on for nine seasons. It doesn't seem like it was. I thought it was only on for like two or or three or four. I knew it was on for a while, but it's not a show that I thought of still being on in the 2000s. September 8th, 2004 was the I don't think I caught many of those episodes. I think I was seasons one through probably six well, listen, streaming is where pe- uh, you know new generations find old shows. I'm going to check it out because I love that show. That's how my, my older kids started getting into Friends in the office because mm-hmm. they were streaming. It's not in syndication. You'll never uh, be clicking around and see Drew Carey reruns because of all the music rights. It's weird how some shows are always on and other ones, you know, they just haven't been able to either pay for it or figure it out or whatever. So, but they had good writers on that show. I mean, I remember they would talk to people who, who I knew from other shows and um, all kind of had a similar sensibility and they would go through writing for the Drew Carey show for a little while. So maybe I'll go back and watch some of these. I remember they would always do the Halloween episodes where you would, um, there'd be like gags in it. Yeah. And oh, have I to, forgot about those. You'd have to write in, make a handwritten list of all the gags that you found. And it's only, I mean, it's its not like it is now. You couldn't pause it. You couldn't rewind it. It was just, hey, here's our Halloween episode. Write down all the gags that you can see and then send in the list. And then whoever found the most gags got like a prize. I did it every single time. I always came I, up with I like think seven I rem- or eight. Yeah, but... I think I vaguely remember that happening. Yeah. That, was a, that was a big, it was a big uh, deal. Yeah. I don't remember what the prize was either, but I remember like sitting there with a pen and paper like, Trying to write, like, severed arm behind Oswald's head. Like, all kinds of stuff. Wait, how did you know what to look for? 
they were just gags. They were just things that like shouldn't be there or right. like props. It's like right, what's wrong with this picture type of thing. Kind of okay. stuff yeah. like that, yeah. And then you had to get all of them to win? Whoever had the most. So the if only most. five people wrote in and you had the most of those five, then you would win. Right. Wow. In other television news, they have, oh, they finally, finally have greenlit a brand new Tim Allen sitcom. So for those of you who've been missing Tim Allen on television, uh, he's coming back. The wow. ABC Network. Who's this with? Kat Dennings. That's right. Mrs. Andrew W.K. She's Kat cute, too. Double Dennings. Go ahead. What is yeah, it? Double D Dennings. <laughs> <laughs> double Dennings. <sighs> Andrew Double D.K. Mm-hmm. One big, hour She's got big boobs. Minutes. She's got big old... Big old bit. Shut up, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't like that bit. <laughs> didn't you hear you had a hard morning? I know. I didn't. I just the had dear. a. Cha- I had a. Ca- I did not have a hard morning. A I had a chaotic. Ca- morning. I did. It was a chaotic morning. Chaotic. My mornings are everything is accounted for in my schedule, and it was a chaotic morning. And not to say that it was. You know, listen. You play past it. Play through it. It's fine. Nobody got hurt. But um, it was off the beaten path there. Shifting Gears is the new Tim Allen show. And um, if you think he's taking a hard left turn with his shows, well, you would be incorrect. Can I guess what it's about? You certainly can. Okay. I bet, you'll hit, I bet you'll hit one or two points on the curve. My guess is it's about uh, Tim Allen. It is, is about Tim Allen. He's in it. He plays a father that's conservative and had is retired from like working as a mechanic or something like that. And his daughter is and they, gay. they fall on hard times and she's oh. more he's he's conservative, she's liberal, and they have to learn to get along. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. Uh um uh, Tim Allen will star as Matt, the stubborn widowed owner of a classic car restoration shop. Mm -hmm. It's like Tim Allen Mad Libs. And shifting gears. When Matt's estranged daughter, played by Kat Dennings, Uh and her teenage kids, that must make her feel good. She's playing somebody with teenage kids. I mean, she's almost 40. Is she Kat Dennings? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She's got to be 40. Okay. She's 38 years old. 38. Oh, so she's a teen mom then in the show. Okay. Uh, when um, when Matt's estranged daughter and her teenage Team kids, mom, she could be twenty. No, you're bad at math. She, like I know I, you're bad. Of course, at math. I'm bad at math. She could yeah. be twenty five and had a kid who's a teenager. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. uh, I don't know how old she's playing. Is what I'm saying. They, they may have mm-hmm. cast her as somebody who was a teen. I don't know. When Matt's estranged daughter and her teenage kids move into this house, the real restoration begins. Mm. Oh. How about that? I mean, this I like is a show it. I can watch with my dad. And this there is what brings us together. Right? Yeah. Hey, Dad, shifting, <laughs> ge- uh, shifting gears is Is he going to do that? Because that's all I really want from him. Yeah, I want the good old-fashioned Tim Allen. I don't know. Home improvement. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what kind of, you know, Tim Allen is one of those guys who has a real rep for being a, a real pain in the ass. And uh, I wonder um, how he and Kat Dennings will get along. She seems affable enough. And uh, I like Tim Allen in stuff. I don't watch those shows. I, I didn't watch the last one he had, and I didn't watch Home I did. Improvement. Last Man Standing? Yeah. It was funny. I mean, no, it was real popular. Like, I, yeah. I, it was really funny. One, <laughs> one of my ex-girlfriends loved that show. He's kind of the guy that's out there saying, like, nobody's making comedies for real Americans well, or whatever that what it nonsense was. is. It was, I'm I know, a, but it's, I'm uh, a Republican dad. Yeah. I have all girls I and know. a wife, and I don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. I thought it was very funny. Well, no, it was on for quite a while, I think. And Nancy Travis was the wife, and I think she's hot. And, but anyway, um, but uh, I think it was Casey Wilson who recently was talking about something, and she just said she it was just a terrible, terrible experience working with Tim Allen. He's just condescending and rude and blah, blah, blah. So, listen, I imagine that um, results may vary depending on who the person is. Not everybody 
not everybody vibes. I still love Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest rules. It's a fantastic movie. Sigourney Weaver and uh, the late Alan Rickman. Dynamite. <laughs> McLean. McLean. Galaxy Quest. <laughs> uh, Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah, I remember that. Wait, Third Rock from the Sun. Well, people are texting me. Hey, Third Rock from the Sun. Uh, Scrubs oh, has the music. Pro- movies, yeah. Scrubs has the music problem too. Okay. Except Scrubs is in is in syndication. It's not like syndication. Comedy syndication. The, the Drew Carey show has been in syndication a bunch. No, they said it wasn't in syndication because of music issues. No, no, no they can't sh- stream it because of music is- issues. It's on syndication. It's on like weird channels. It's is like, it? It's like those digital antenna channels. Well, it's been on those for years. Well, it says it's not in syndication. The Drew Carey said it's not in syndication because of music rights and stuff. So I don't know what he's talking about, but that's why it was a big deal that they're streaming, I guess. But Krista Miller was in Scrubs, too, because she's yeah. married to Bill Lawrence. She, so she's in Shrinking, which is starting up again soon. I, I don't know if she's in that Bill Lawrence is dropping. I think today he drops the new um, Vince Vaughn show over on Apple. It's called Bad Monkey. And so that, I think that's going to be like in that same kind of vibe with Scrubs and, and Cougar Town and all those kind of shows. So Vince Vaughn's making the promo rounds again. He was talking about, who was he? He was on some show. And he was just talking about how they wanted everything to be IP. And he was talking about he's the on movie. Smartless. Yeah, and well, he was talking about Battleship and yeah. how they made that into a movie. And he was like, there's there's good scripts out there. <laughs> yeah. They just make make a good movie with a good story. And they're like, no, people want Battleship. Yeah. Like, because it's gonna, if you'll pardon the pun, it's gonna tank. I don't think people wanted Battleship. No. <laughs> and that's the thing with, with fewer and fewer companies owning all the stuff now. Mm-hmm. They're like, well, what properties do we own? You know, and, and people are freaking out because, like, they cleaned out the Cartoon Network. Like, uh, they cleaned out all of their old, the website, Cartoon yeah. Network website, they cleaned out all of their old library because mm-hmm. I guess it's a tax write-off of some kind. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but, um, and so people are flipping out. Well, it's- the- I didn't know people were still going to the Cartoon Network website, but- right. that That's one of those things, too, where they they go, okay, Transformers, big hit. What other toys can we make into a movie? Not understanding that Transformers had a lot of lore around it and stories that you could tell that made it fun to create a movie out of. Battleship. Right. (laughs) (laughs) It's not not the same. But they're like, yeah, get Rihanna in it. They'll be fine. When I was doing ticket stops last year, for our cruise, we were going to bars, and they were like, what should we do? And I said, you know what would be fun? Nautical themed. Let's do Battleship. And so we had people coming out and playing Battleship. I never once thought to film it. Not even at all. Not for a second. All right. Connect for the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> we played a drinking game called Battleship. I think I've described this on this show before. But it's set up on, you know, like a ping pong table, but it's 10 by 10 cups. Okay. So you have a hundred cups. You, I think you play with teams of four. I want to say, um, and then you have your your battleships. They're all filled with beer, except for your battleships are filled with shots of liquor. Oh. So you have a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six, and you have to set them up and pour the liquor in so that your battleships are set, and then you would you would shoot the ball, and if they. You would say hit or miss, and a miss obviously would be beer, and a hit would be a shot of liquor. But you would play one game of that would take like three hours to play, and you would be annihilated by the end of it. When we were in Indiana, <laughs> middle of— You crashed my battleship into a tree Yeah, yeah. you drive home from that game. <laughs> When we were in Bloomington, Indiana, mid-June for my wife's cousin's like party, right, because they were getting married or whatever, and— we had this old, they had uh, airbnb this old, like, hilltop motel or whatever. It's a big place. And so we're in the backyard one day and playing a cornhole or whatever. And there was a massive, like, garage that was cleaned out. And we were 
playing beer pong in rounds. And it was literally the second time I had ever played beer pong. And I thought it was so boring. I'm like, oh, people play this all the so time. Like, fun. It's Are so you bad? not. Are you bad at it? I'm okay at it. Accidentally okay, yeah. That's but it's why you're so fun. Why? Because I was good at it? Yeah. No, you said you were accidentally. Like, when you're good at it and you can hit, like, every other shot, it's fun. Yeah, it's but, fun. No, but, a but, but nobody's that great at it. So even a if you're okay. Oh, there's some people that are that really good at it. Good okay, at it. well, yeah. I wasn't playing with those people then. I was like, oh, my, you're chasing the ball around. I'm like, oh, my God, this cannot can, be. I mean, it can get to a point where, like, this game is taking a half hour. Like, this yeah. is too long. This is It can be boring. Ten if every, minutes is too long. It's like, oh, my sucks, God. If everybody sucks, it's boring. But yeah. when you can get, like, a, a good matchup and you're going cup for cup and then it comes down to, like, the final cup, it can be a very my friend's exciting birthday game. Last year, I guess you got to have tons of practice in college to get good no, at it. No, not even because I didn't. Not really? I didn't play, like, it's just, I don't know. It's like throwing darts. Like, you can just. I, uh, it was at a friend's birthday party last year, and I teamed up with this girl, and we just were killing it all night. We won, like, six or seven matches in a row. And so then everybody's like, oh, we got to take that team down. It was just yeah. fun. And, it, you know, it that was like over the course of maybe an hour. Like an seven. hour. But that's like we played multiple games in that hour. Yeah. It was fun. All right. I'll take your word for it. I was like, oh, my God. Hey, you got one. Drink. Cool. Yeah. Alan doesn't like <laughs> what beer pong. Must be oh, gay. no, it's fine. I mean, I, I – I, it was my turn, so I like I rotated in, and it was fine. I mean, I was having fun with everybody else, but I'm like the game itself. I'm like, oh my god, this is what people spend in college doing. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd rather at play parties. cornhole. Yeah, huh? at parties. Yeah, yeah. you only go to flip cup. I, didn't, I wasn't going to parties. Uh, flip cup was my. I game. mean, I, I, granted, I was not drinking in college, so it was a. But um, I mean, as an adult. Like I said, this was probably the second or third time I'd ever played it. I'm like, now I remember why I don't play this. Yeah, because you suck. At it. Well, no. I was accidentally pretty good. I was getting into a groove. But like you said, if you're playing with a bunch of other people and nobody's killing it. That can be boring. Oh, Mm -hmm. God. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I'm I'm spending more time running around trying to grab the ball off the floor than anything else. I'm like, oh, okay. I've been lonely. I've you want to hear more, Brian? Yes. <laughs> I've it. been lonely. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I've been pretending, and that's all I can do. What about you? Don't you want some? I'll tell you what, he kills it every time, boy. He will pull something out of his record collection. Annie and uh, and Nancy Wilson couldn't have done it any better than Brian. You immediately know the song he's singing. He just, he gets to the heart of it. He embodies those songs. Yeah, it's for you, buddy. One good turn deserves another. Brian, 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 Brian. (laughs) Brian. Mm -hmm. Brian. You know what I like about this guy, by the way? The guy that sings all the people's name songs? Hmm. So that's the Brian song, right? He has two separate songs for B R I A N and B R Y A N. And they're the exact same song. I'm like, this guy's got a lot of time on his hands. He loves what he does. Mm. Hey, working for the people. That's all you can ask of anyone. You see your girl Madonna is celebrating her birthday this weekend? Oh, good for her. What is she? 64? Six, I think. 66. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because the rumor that went around, and of course, all all that is required online is a rumor of something to, quote, you'll see this rage a lot, spark outrage. That outrage is so easily sparked. And with as people love being outraged. And with as dry as such broad swaths of this country are at any given time, I hate to see anything be sparked. Their lives at stake. There was a, a thing online that Madonna was going to have a huge birthday party um, in the excavations of Pompeii. 
And so she's had to come out and go, no, it's Who made that she's going to she's going to be in Italy. And she was allegedly going to throw a 500 person party in Pompeii. And there's like a restored theater there and all these things. And she had to come out and say, these are rumors. Uh, there is, she is not going to be having her party, blah, blah, blah. Now, she could just be kicking that can down the road. We might be seeing pictures of her partying in Pompeii next week. But she will be 66 the day after tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, she looks great. Check this out. She is packed into this outfit, right? Everything here is, th- those aren't her. Everything there is up top. Those aren't, <laughs> those aren't her. This isn't her. That's not her. The hair, the face. I, the outfit is, that probably came right out of her closet. I was reading about girls getting lunchtime boob jobs. I think that's fantastic. You gals have been waiting for it, and now yeah, here it is. that quick. Yeah, because now they have this gel they can in- just inject into your bags. Huh. Uh, does it last? The world's first ever injectable breast implant procedure. I went from a B to a C in 15 minutes, says this woman. No downtime. No downtime. So it's just like Botox. Well, I mean, if you if you don't mind them... (laughs) If you don't mind them squirting some kind of gel, yeah, is it your... going to stay or is it going to migrate? Like, like, yeah, like the fillers, dissolve? and then you get a pillow face, but for boobs, which might actually be okay. That'd be lumpy. Yeah, yeah I don't you know. don't want lumpy. Yeah, a lot of lumpy. women are having their implants removed because they they contend it makes them sick, and nobody can seem to pinpoint You'll it. You'll be sick or pretty. Make up your mind. <laughs> it's better to look good than to feel good, ladies. Only you time d- I agree with you. You see? <laughs> I knew you'd come around one way or the other. You finally got me. Yeah. She said, uh, one woman, uh, you can have a boob job in your lunch break. Said the whole procedure took about 45 minutes. A little bit of a local anesthesia. They make a little incision under the arm. Usually around the armpit. Oh, that would hurt. God. Yeah, dude. Well, they probably numb you. They'll numb you. Well, yeah, they mm-hmm. give you a local, but it. and then they be sore. And then they put a little balloon between the pectoral and the mammary gland. Oh. And then they inject. So it is still technically an implant, but they figured out how to do it, so they just slide the thing in, fill it up, and then they just suture the whole thing. They don't have to go through your belly button anymore. I don't know why they weren't doing this from the jump. And then a high-tech device injects the implant. Oof. You just made it move. So anyway, yeah, breast sensitivity is not altered. They don't have to chop your nips off like they did back in the day or anything like that. Minimally invasive. Good for you. I don't even know how much it costs. But ladies, imagine you leave for lunch. Let's say you're a B. Say you're a 32B. You come back from lunch, you got to buy custom bras, 36 double D. That's not how that works. No one will notice. How what works? You tell them how big, how big you want them. I guess. Of course. How big I don't would know, you I'm go? Saying I you don't, don't have to just making, go up a cup size. I don't think anybody's making that big of a jump on their lunch break. <laughs> I don't know what people are doing on their lunch breaks, all right? How big would you go? It's none of my business. Me? Yeah. I wouldn't. If I did anything, I'd... Pick mine up. I'd get a breast lift, but I'm not. I'm not going any bigger. I've got, dude. I've got 36 C's. I've got plenty of boob. I don't need any more boob. I get a 48 J. No, you right, now not. we're talking. Custom breasts. <laughs> yeah. You got to have 48 your... those. Like that's like the straps and stuff. Oh yeah, that's you your, get... your band size. You got to get your bras from uh, Cleveland tent and awning.